Welcome to video 154 in series 3, and now I'll fill in the state follow script. Okay, open up the state follow script, and let's get to work. Alright, so we have here private read-only, NPC state pattern, NPC, private and array collider, colliders, private vector 3 look at point, private vector 3 heading, private float dot prod, meaning dot product, public NPC state follow, uh, pass in the parameter of the type, NPC state pattern, NPC state pattern, so NPC is equal to NPC state pattern. So jumping over to the NPC state pattern script, let's add that. So follow state is equal to new NPC state follow this. All right, good. In update, we will have look and follow target. So those are two new methods that we need to write. In to patrol state, we must write another method here. So that's npc.currentState is equal to npc.patrol state. In to alert state, we've got a line of code as well. npc.currentState is equal to npc.alertState. So before I get to the look and follow target uh, methods, let me write some sub methods. First of all, it's very, uh, it's pretty much exactly the same as what you've written before. Void alert state actions. This is exactly like in the patrol script. NPC dot location of interest is equal to target dot position, and this uh, method takes in a parameter of the type transform, so transform target, and then to alert state. Uh, void visibility calculations transform target, so also the same thing. Look at point is equal to new vector three target dot position dot x. Uh, comma target dot position dot y plus npc dot offset comma target dot position dot z heading is equal to look at point minus npc dot transform dot position dot prod is equal to vector three dot dot uh, it's um, passing the vector heading and comma npc dot transform dot forward okay still a couple of more methods to write first of all bool have i reached destination if npc.mynav mesh agent dot remaining distance is less than or equal to npc.mynav mesh agent dot stopping distance and not npc.mynav mesh agent dot path pending. So just like I explained before, uh, if we're close enough to, uh, well, we're less than our start at stopping distance or equal to the stopping distance uh, to our last, to our set destination, to that waypoint or whatever point it is, and we're not trying to calculate a new path, that means we can stop walking. Otherwise, we should keep walking because a new path is being calculated or we haven't reached the destination yet. So that's where we have stop walking, return true, else keep walking, return false. So return true, yes, we have reached the destination. Now the two other methods, void keep walking, npc.mynavmashagent.resume, npc.npcmaster.callEvent, npc walk anim, void stop walking, npc.mynavmashagent.stop, npc.npcmaster.callEvent, npc idle anim. All right, I'm going to put in the look method up above. So this one is quite similar, a little bit different. Void, look, first of all, check near range. Use collider, so capture with an overlap sphere. Colliders is equal to physics.overlap sphere, starting from npc.transform.position, comma, npc.site range, divide by three, comma, npc.myenemy layers. If colliders.length is greater than zero, alert state actions, uh, Brackets just supply it with colliders zero dot transform return. So, yep, if we detected something, then just go for the very first uh, item in the entry, and we don't care about whether it's in front or not because we're in the uh, uh, follow state. Really, uh, the player will have probably detected whatever it is, and it should. We should just go after. So the NPC should just go after whatever it is. Okay. So that way, then the player doesn't have to worry about, you know, which one, because uh, I was, when I was testing it out, it was very odd, like when you have your AIs following you, and then you have enemies, you're looking at the enemies coming towards you, but because the AIs are facing you, they have their back turned. So because of that, if with our other style of code, by checking the dot product, they wouldn't uh, detect the enemies, of course. So it's better to just have no... Um, you know, no direction check in this case for the near range checking. So if the enemy is just close enough, whatever, your allies will immediately turn around and face the enemy. 
and vice versa, so the enemies would do the same thing, who are following other enemies. So then check medium range colliders is equal to physics.overlap sphere, npc.transform.position, npc.sideRange, divide by 2 instead, npc.myEnemyLayers, if, yep, the colliders at length is greater than 0, uh, carry out visibility calculations on colliders, uh, index 0.transform, if dot product is greater than 0, alert state actions, colliders, uh, 0.transform, and then return. So just the first game object. Then check the max range, so colliders is equal to physics.overlapsphere, npc.transform.position, comma, npc.siteRange, comma, npc.myEnemyLayers. And then just iterate through for each collider, col and colliders, raycast hit, hit, visibility calculations with that col.transform, and uh, yep, just carry out the line cast check and go through each of the strings in the uh, tags if there are any matches and also the target is in front uh, then just carry out uh, it shouldn't be a zero it should be col.transform whatever it was being uh, used here just carry out alert state actions which you can see right here okay so that's good that's one method done all right so next after the look method we need a follow target method so void follow target npc.mesh renderer flag dot material dot color is equal to color dot blue if not npc dot my nav mesh agent dot enable then just return there's no point continuing if npc dot my follow target is not equal to null then npc dot my nav mesh agent dot set destination so then npc dot my follow target dot position and keep walking else if that wasn't the case so if there's no follow target go to the patrol state uh, if uh, have I reached destination, then stop walking, and the next time this comes around, if uh, there's still a target to follow, it will continue to follow, or if it sees something, it will pursue that, or go to the alert state, and if none of those, then it'll go to the patrol state. So that is everything. So I'll just slowly go through it, well, not too slowly. So that's the entire NPC state follow completed. And okay, that has everything in it. All right, so no errors. I think I can just test this out. I'm just going to uh, just make a duplicate there of the golem. I'm just going to uh, forget about. Let's see what happens anyway. Uh, so I'll turn off enemy layers, uh, no layers at all for all of that. Uh, never mind about enemy tags, so no enemy tags. All right, and I'm just going to put the player as the uh, follow target, so my follow target. I'm not sure what will happen, so let me try that. Okay, so yeah, it's working. So the um, uh, the AI there, which really has no AI since I disabled its sight, is actually now following uh, the player. So that's perfect. Now, if there were an, another enemy and I had set it up correctly or something, uh, then it would instead start to go towards that. Okay, so that's very good. I'll just stop that right now. Uh, just delete that, since that's not what it's supposed to be. Come back here. And if I haven't hit apply already, I'll just hit apply for the original golem. And that's it for this video. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.